Welcome to R.E.D. Red. It's Michelle Barone, and I'm so excited to be here. Ash. What's going on, MB? Today we're talking real estate, girl. We are, and we're in kind of like the real estate capital, I feel like I'd yes. say. We're in New York City. Yeah, baby. And we're with somebody that's starring on a new show, Owning Manhattan. Oh, yeah. If you haven't heard of the show, you must live under a rock, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> you know, our boy Ryan Serhant over there is absolutely crushing it, has the top realtors in the country. And has really built an amazing brand. And we're really excited to be here with my friend Jade Shanker. How are you? I am so good. Hey. One, you guys look so hot. <laughs> oh my God, you look amazing. You look hot. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. And like, I'm so happy you guys watched the show. It means oh, yeah. so much to me. I think, like, I'm still so humbled by it. So thank you for having me. Hey guys, before today's episode, I want to talk to you about something that Ashley and I care a lot about, mental health. That's right. Taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health. And Mental Health America of Dutchess County is the perfect place for that help. Absolutely. Mental Health America of Dutchess County is super empowering and helps so many people with so many problems. Honestly, it's pretty amazing seeing how mental health actually affects people. I mean, the guests that we've had on the show, we've talked about mental health in almost every episode, and it's a serious topic. Now's the time to prioritize your mental well-being. If you're suffering from anxiety, depression, or anything mental health related, visit Mental Health America Dutchess County at mhaduchess.org. If you've been loving the stylish looks we're rocking, you've got to check out Dynamite. From trendy pieces to timeless staples, Dynamite has everything you need to elevate your wardrobe for any occasion, whether it's brunch, lunch, dinner, and everything in between. I'm obsessed with their latest collection. It's all about chic, statement-making designs that effortlessly transition from day to night. Plus, the quality is top-notch, and their fits are perfect. Visit dynamiteclothing.com to discover your next favorite look. Dynamite, empowering you to confidently own every moment. Took the subway here. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You did good, girl. I know. And the, the subway like that. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's like one of the things that we didn't capture on the show. It's like real New York. It's like you kind of like have to take the subway. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Especially so if you want to get anywhere efficiently. Tell me what it's like. First, I want to talk about like the actual real estate market and then I want to go into the show. Yeah. So what's it like, like being a realtor here in Manhattan and showcasing so much? I just want to know what that the actual job is like. So being a real estate agent in New York City, it it's like completely different to what you see in LA. I mean, uh -huh. I feel like LA, it's like very flashy. It's like, which I love, I love all of that stuff, right? But New York is a little bit more about the numbers and the strategy. And that's why you saw a really big difference when it came to selling Sunset versus New York. Like New York is all about like, how do I get things done in a different way? Yep. Um, and that's kind of how I think agents are, right? Like you could be an agent who does the same thing as everyone else, which is great. And a lot of people do it. It's why I'm in business, right? But I think to stand out, you need to figure out, okay, like how do I attribute like some of my personality and figure out like what's my competitive advantage? And I think that's why the best of the best thrive in New York City. Mm -hmm. I agree. And you've done some of these things on Owning Manhattan. Mm -hmm. I want to talk through your latest listing and what you did on the show to differentiate because it was pretty freaking mm -hmm. cool. Tell yeah. me about it. Where'd the idea come from? Well, I, <laughs> so for those who like haven't watched, um, we had a building that we were selling and it had already been listed by, I think, a couple of other brokerages, right? So us coming in, we're like, okay, how, how can we put this in front of different eyeballs? And right now, the real estate market, especially in commercial, is so different. Mm -hmm. And it's not really what we've seen. Like the people who are transacting are mostly owner users, which is kind of like if you guys said, hey, instead of leasing a studio space, we want to buy it, right? Right. That's what an owner user is. You guys want to use the space that you're buying rather yep. than investing mm -hmm. or investment. So we're like, okay, we have to come up with a strategy to put this building in front of users and we're like okay so why don't we do like maybe like a music video and it was like super out of the box we wanted to catch capture eyeballs and the owner so the seller's uh not wife sorry <laughs> the seller's girlfriend i'm so sorry debbie <laughs> the owner's girlfriend was like a huge fan of like a lot of my dancing videos and we kind of just thought it was a good match and we sold it. Amazing. Yeah. It's so creative yeah. too. It and was wild. Yeah. It was like, 
I was like, oh my gosh, is Ryan going to fire me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're watching, and you're like, okay, is this a good idea or is it not? But I think she's amazing, but I think this is so smart. And then you pull it off and it's like, wow, yeah. that was awesome, right? Because yeah. you're toying, like, toying the line of, you know, is this good or not? And I'm sure you felt the same way. Yeah, I mean, I've I've always felt that way. It's like, you know, it's not like I'm going to make a music video for every listing, right? right? Everything is kind of like a fingerprint. Like every single listing, the buyer is different, the seller is different, the strategy is so um, particular per the property. So it's kind of like creating a marketing strategy for that. Yeah. And of course I know it was definitely risky, <laughs> um, but like, I kind of had to take a risk and like, I'm like a big risk taker. Like I'm like, I'd rather shoot for the stars and figure out what works because if I decide to keep it the same, then I'm just going to be like everyone else. And exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. And you can't, and you know what, that's what makes you different. And that's what makes you amazing. And I can't wait to see more of it unfold. So season two. Oh my gosh. Ah! Is there going to be a season two? I cannot say anything. Maybe just kidding. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Twist my arm. <laughs> um, yeah, we got clearance for season two. Yay! Oh my God, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, we got to give her a round of applause on that, guys. Come on, season two's in the house. I've been binge watching, so I'm excited to binge watch <laughs> oh another season. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like what wh like, what do you want to see? Because like that's so helpful for me. Like I'm like, oh, what's like the juicy stuff? Honestly, but like I just love seeing like the behind the scenes of the real estate world. Like even mm -hmm. like through like your social media, like yeah. doing the behind the scenes. of I saw one video, a guy asked you on the street what you what you do for work yeah. and you took him with you for yeah. like a day. Like, I just think the way that you show like what you do is just so cool. Like you just have to keep doing that. Like the way you do it, like I feel like no other realtor is doing that out oh, there. Thank you. That was so cool. Like I literally, I always wonder what's it like when someone comes up to you on the street and they're like, can I come to work with you for a day? What was that like filming that? <laughs> um, so Gabe is like so cool. He was like, uh, I had known him from the grapevine. So cool. I told him, he's like, oh, are you going to be around? And I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, if you catch me, you catch me. Like, I'm going to be doing showings, like happy to do it. And then he texted me like probably 15 minutes before. Wow. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, you're going to come with me. And the funny thing was, cause like in our industry, like you're kind of always working. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we're doing the tour and I'm like, okay, shit. Like normally like I do this tour in like 15 minutes, but of course, you know, we're talking, so it's lasting longer. And then I'm like doing another deal. I'm like yelling at someone because yes. like they're not. Yeah, yeah like I wish you, that though. Like I think <laughs> yeah, behind I'm, the scenes. Yeah, because like on the show, like you see like the fun quirky Jane, right. but like realistically, most of the time, like I have to tell people like what to do. Yes. And like, especially as like a, a woman too. Of course. Um, in commercial real estate, a lot of people like dilly dally and they're not really on point. So part of this, like, what you saw in that short clip mm -hmm. was like, okay, no, like I need this done yesterday. Like either you're going to do it or I'm going to get someone else, but I need it done in the next 15 minutes. Yeah. Yep. You know? So like, it's kind of like, it's like that. And, and that's what I think, um, hopefully season two, we'll get to showcase some more of that. Cause like, that's what really gets the deal done. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. And Amazing. like seeing that part of it too, like you were on the phone and it was like, oh, she, she's going to get control of the situation. Like she's got this. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. I was so mad. Cause I'm like, I'm like, hello. I'm like, it's like, it's not your job. Like tell the attorney what to do. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. come on. Yeah. I was like, if not, I will. And I'm going to be really annoyed if you don't do this and I have to do this. Yeah. Cause right now I'm shooting content. So right. Yep. If I have to leave to do this, if you can't do it, then we're going to have a problem. Like, especially those conversations, I feel like that's like definitely something like I'd love to see more of in season two too. So. Absolutely. Well, I want to talk more about season one though, because you went through a big heartbreak. Yeah. And I felt so bad for you. I was like through like the tears just there for you. I was like, I just need to give her a hug. I'm going to cry thinking about yeah. it. But talk to me about your divorce and how did you bring it to the spotlight? I mean, I don't know how you did it. It was, yeah, it, it was tough. Um, so I had found out uh, maybe like a couple months before we started shooting and I was close. Like I was, Chloe was like, you know, right. really close friend. I know. Um, Jessica Taylor I was really close with too. And it was one of the things where like, you know, when you're married um, and you have a best friend and that happens, you're kind of like, what the fuck? Yeah. And you don't really know what you're going to do. So I was kind of just like figuring out a lot of the time. And I was like, okay, well, how do I want to react? And in real estate, especially when you're an agent, like the work that you put in is like what you do. Right. So like 
I didn't really have time or I, at that time I didn't know how to like process my own feelings. Mm -hmm. All I knew was like, I have like one thing that I know I have to do and that like my clients and like Ryan is like who I owe, who I owe myself to. Right. And I was like, I, I just, I can't let that drop. And like, I think a lot of like the pressure, um, like I just, I doubled down on work. Like I was, I was in the office, I think like probably like 7 a.m. I would wait outside because sometimes I was there before the super and I was, I was out at like 12 a.m. because I didn't want to be home, right? Um, work people, like my friends, I didn't really want to be around my friends because they would be like, okay, Jade, I know you, like what's going on? And like they also know Matt too. So yeah. that was hard. So I kind of was like, okay, well, like my clients are going to ask me about personal stuff. So that's mm -hmm. great. I'll double down on that. And then I remember like a lot of times, like I would just be like crying downstairs and like Ryan would like leave and he'd be like, <laughs> like Ryan's like, he's like the best boss ever. But like every time he sees me cry, he's like, oh shit. He's like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> he's like, oh, I don't know. how do I deal this? Like, he uh, know. Do I guys don't know. <laughs> it's a guy so, thing. Um, so like kind of the process is like, you know, whenever I got the clearance, like, hey, we're going to shoot, you know, ready to go. I was like, okay. So I was like, how do I work? with my friends and also like go through this. So I had a call with Ryan and I was like, Hey, I was like, what do you suggest? Like, what do I do? Yeah. And he was like, just talk about what you're comfortable on with TV. Um, he's like, you don't have to say anything. He's like, but if you do, he's like, you're probably going to help a lot of people. And I was like, fucking a, I yeah. was like, all right. And I love that answer. You know what? Yeah. That's a really good answer. It's so true. And it is true. And and you have continue. Yeah. No, thank you. You have. Yeah. Oh, my God. And like, I think the hardest part for me was like, you know, I was telling my story as we we're shooting. And whenever you tell your story, like there's a beginning, middle and ending. And I didn't know what I was going to do at the time. Like I was living with him like. I had gone from living with my dad, who, you know, was helping me a lot to living with my husband, who was helping me a lot. So it's like, all right. So like, not only do I have to separate, right, which is its own clusterfuck, but I also have to financially support myself. Um, so deciding that on camera was really stressful. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was hard. But part of the reason that I did it was because I was like, all right, well, like, I can do this. Like I, I almost like thought like I had an op or I feel like I have an obligation mm -hmm. to succeed because like, like having this platform now, like I am now someone who can help a lot of people. So I think Absolutely. that's like what would help me get through it. Absolutely. And do you still like, where are you now in the journey? Because I know, I know, you know, going through it on the show and you have your planned little moments in your head of what you're willing to do, you know, but there's still so many moments behind closed doors, right? That are hard. Yeah. And, you know, and where do you stand, you know, with Chloe? What's that like now? Yeah. Um, you know, Chloe and I, we, we've been working on the friendship here and there. You know, it's it's kind of like one of those like close relationships mm -hmm. where it definitely hurt. Like a lot of that stuff hurt a lot. And we did have a conversation the other day where I kind of was like, you know, she had said some things, we got another fight and it's like always been like fight, not fight, fight, not fight. And we kind of had like a walk together and I was like, dude, I was like, what, like why? And I guess because we're so close, a lot of things that I do trigger her, um, which I'm like, dude, I'm literally like doing like nothing. Yeah. And then I was like, I was like, look, I have love for you and like I'll always have space for you and I know like you have your own things and I'll always have space for you. Um, like, and you kind of have to be like that, like yeah, to deal with people, yeah. you know, like no one's, no one's perfect, right? I um, and I think she has a beautiful baby yep. and like I'm like all, like I'm like such a girl's girl where I'm like, <laughs> you know what? Like even if we fight, you go girl. Like, yeah. Yeah. like go with your Zara, like yeah. fucking slay, yeah. you know? So like, I'll always be there for her, but um, but definitely it, it's hard to go through fights on camera as you're going through like oh, depression. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking hard. I can imagine. How are you doing that? Like you're on camera and you're just being so authentic. Like how do you break that through? Like I feel like I could not go and be on camera and be like, 
I can be honest, but I don't think I could be like going through the divorce, right. crying your eyes out, fighting day and night, and like, then being able to still work and everything. And, I don't know how you and do sell, it. And sell, come up with these ideas, be a boss, right. look amazing. Like thank you, you had a really uh, amazing roller coaster of a moment there. Yeah, thank you. I, I had no <laughs> choice. I was like, I, I always thought like I was put on this earth to help people and like women especially because yeah. I feel like. Like, why, why can't you, you know, wear something beautiful and also be a badass? Like, wh- why, why is right. that such a thing? And, like, why are we taught, it, like, in third grade, like, if your skirt's too short, like, yeah. you can't be taken seriously. I've never mm-hmm. understood that. Yeah. yeah. Never. So, like, ever since I was young, that's been something that I did. And, you know, being cheated on, I was like, fuck. I was like, you know what? It's like, fuck it. Like, I'm going to just double down. Yeah. And I'm going to do it. And. Like definitely after the show came out, I was like, okay, I need a breather. Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! Like reliving that, I was yeah. like, oh my gosh! It's like that's before I had a stylist. Who I'm like, damn, what was I wearing? <laughs> I was like, Fuck. How do you feel now that you've seen it all? Like now that you went through it all, but seeing it was it different? It was wild seeing it. Cause like, imagine, have you ever like gone through your camera roll, right? Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And then looked a year like yeah. ago, you're like, wow, like you, like we're just so different. Oh, definitely. So yeah. watching it and watching like my ex on camera too, I didn't know how much like screen time he was going to get. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Right, then you gotta like put yourself back in that and like see it all again yeah yeah so it was wild but like I'm just like so thankful like honestly like all of the feedback and good or bad like it's just been so amazing like I got like letters from like a lot of like corporate women who are like you know you, that was super inspiring and I'm like like that's that's yeah, you know what I think it. my mission was it's so, true yeah so what's next season two is coming I'm excited when do you start filming or did you already Okay, Ooh, I'm not okay, allowed to okay, know. Okay, okay, All right. Kind of our secret, sorry. Yeah, 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 we're not telling anyone, but that's exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh, I okay. No, I know. So it'll be fun. I mean, obviously, I think everyone's lives has changed so much. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like dating. Yes, and, I want to know all about it. Oh my it. God, like. I was going to ask. Guys, like, dating is the funnest thing in the world. Thank you. You know what? I mean, I'm having fun, but it's just sometimes I'm just like, oh. She won't like break loose here. I'm trying to get her out there. This one over here thinks she's a matchmaker. Oh, she tries, good. She, she tries matchmaking me, but it never works out. So I'm well, like, what's we your have type? To stop. Yeah. Well, apparently, but I have to stray away from my type because it has not worked out in the past. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I go more personality. I feel like. Okay. It's like if That's we vibe, not true. We vibe, I feel Is like. it a good personality? I feel like they're normally like pretty boys, but like what? You yeah. every guy you've ever dated right. has been hot. All right, all right. So pretty I boys, mean, I mean, with they, I, a good I personality. Don't, I don't disagree. Like I do think like I've dated like attractive people, but. They didn't like turn out to be the best. Yeah. Well, I feel that like doesn't that matter. Was, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. What, what about, yeah. What do you think here? Well, I mean, I think attractive people, look, a nerd will cheat on you just like an attractive person. Right. So, oh, yeah. No, I you know. know. Yeah. There's, I think there's other factors too. Like, are you having fun? Like, are you going on fun dates? Oh, no. Yeah. I'm having so much fun. Like, I'm so enjoying the single life. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah. not like rushing into a Are you on like the app? I haven't done any dating apps. Ever. Ever. Why? I know. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like with the dating apps, it's like especially like the town I'm in. It's like that's all the boys are doing that. It's just like to hook up. Like I don't want to go. Okay, just like, understand. So like I feel like when I go out, like I'll like meet people, like things like that. So it's kind of more like organic. Okay, but yeah, I think I that's know. fun. I think that's like a good way to do. Yeah, it. I mean I'm She's 21, so I'm out. like it's fun. Yeah, I'm like I can finally like actually go out and like do things. So I'm enjoying it. I yeah, like it, but that is fun. Being single is like I. I'm like, wait, this is the funnest thing ever. <laughs> oh, I'm sure in the city too. Like, What's it like dating in the city? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is like, I wish that there was like a new sex in the city that like did this. <laughs> like I love, I love Real Housewives of New York, but like I want to see like real single girls of New York. Yeah. Like, yes. Like literally the stories that I have and, and I'm again, like this is the first time I've been single since I've been 19, right? Wow. Conceptually. Like wild, right? Yeah, it's insane. Like, wild. Right, totally different person from who you were at nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the apps and the guys and like I, I'm also confident. I'm like, okay, yeah. well, I don't need to get married, or I get married four more times. Whatever, yeah. I know yeah. the process. Like, yeah, yeah. Con- contractually, like we're good. 
And let's go to Vegas. Let's get married. <laughs> I love the mindset. It. Just I have love fun it. with it. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Bryce is lighting up over there. Bryce, you all right? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Just get married. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, and get cares. divorced a week later. Who's yeah. counting? I Fuck love it. it. It's your life. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. this is my vibe right here. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. This why great. not? It's fun. Um, a lot of fun. And w- whenever I first started dating, I there's so many different like nuances. Like, so I remember like a couple guys had the same names. Like I, I accidentally went on the date with the wrong guy because I mixed Stop. up their names. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, that was like a wild one. Oh um, so all day long you're de- dealing with clients, going on shows, doing all this stuff. After all that, you go meet different guys, mess up their names. You have a lot going on all day and night, girl. That it's is so, so fun. It's funny. a lot. And you know what? You got to roll with her. I know. I'm going to come move to the city and then we're just going to start the show. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> easy. Another show. Single ladies. <laughs> Yes, there you right. go. we might as well. Like, we might as well, right? Yeah. Have fun. You know, like dating is so, like just men are the greatest. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Until, you know. Even then, they're fun. You just, mm. you just don't put power into it. Men yeah. are my favorite sport. Do you have like, hey, do, oh, I like I love that. This. Do you have like There's a favorite a like crazy dating story? Like one that sticks out there like, I cannot believe that happened or like, I mean, you know, again. I think all the dating stories are pretty good. Um, there is someone I recently started like going on dates with and he's amazing at planning dates. So that's always fun. Um, but as far as like a wild one, I don't know. Like they're, they're all, they're all special in their own special <laughs> ways. Are we going to meet some of these players on the uh, show? Maybe. Yeah. Hey. Do you want to? Yeah. Um, yeah. And what I would do after I mismatched uh, the their names. Yeah. Um, I decided I was like, okay, I'm gonna put them all on a PowerPoint. So I have a nice little organized PowerPoint. That um, is so funny. Yeah. So I have their names and I their faces mm-hmm. and you know pros, cons. That's um, great. And then that an overall. So funny. That is so much. That is so That's funny. So what I, would do. I love that. Oh my god, it's so good. And what's great is you can. Like, I'm like a numbers girl. Mm-hmm. Um, don't let, you know, the puffs fool you. So <laughs> I love being analytical with even like dating where it's like, okay, I noticed. It's better to be that way, yeah. There's certain trends. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and you could be like, all right, well, let me steer away from the surgeons or let, yeah. let me like, you know, venture into something else. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. We'll, <laughs> talk, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. You, you can set me up. I just. This one over here, I get I get nervous when she does it sometimes. No, no, come on, I got a good rating. <laughs> she, I feel like she knows you well enough. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, she come knows on, me like Ash. the back of her hand. Exactly, I, I'm yeah. practically like her mother. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, she's my niece. I, oh yeah. Wait, really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. So she really does know me that well. Oh, I do. Yeah. I know her very yeah. well. She knows every every in and out of any relationship I've ever had. <laughs> exactly. She knows everything. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, if you needed someone to like find anything out about my life, she probably would be the person to go to. Absolutely. Okay. So, but we gotta find her, her somebody good. Like she's a great person. Mm-hmm. Well, we got just gotta work on this. We'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we got this. Yeah. So I'm. I just can't wait for your dating life to go out there because I feel like it's gonna be interesting. Mm-hmm. What What's your type? So. Per the PowerPoint, yeah, um, I do go for um, you know a nice tall male with dark features. So I love a nice bushy eyebrow, Ooh. brown hair. Okay. Um, I like someone with family values. Yes. That's really important. Mm-hmm. Um, and like spontaneous. Like I don't I don't really do like dinner dates for first dates. Yeah, um, drinks are a little bit low effort for me i prefer someone to like like you know my personality yeah somewhat right like someone who's efficient i i like when guys put it in my calendar yeah you know i don't want to talk to them too much i don't have time i I don't have like i'm not a texting person like yeah just call me yeah yeah and like book a flight i don't know i love that that's like the best mindset to have though like that's like the exact mindset you should have when in dating. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I Efficiency is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they need to be like straight to the point. Yep. Um, and like ambitious. Yes. 
If you don't have ambition, you have nothing. That's what I. That's what I. Well, love. Especially if you're in New York City, like you better have the hustle, or else exactly it's not gonna last. You die. So yeah, especially yeah. like somebody who's like smart. Like you need someone yes. who like. You know, because like I'm going to give it to someone and like mm-hmm. give it back to me, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like yeah. tennis. I think so. Like I feel like real estate and dating is like tennis, real estate in, in particular, because it's like and as you can tell, like I'm, I play t- a lot of tennis and <laughs> it's like whenever you're rallying, you want to go hard and you want to give it your best, but you still want to keep it in the court. Right. Yeah. You want to. So it's kind of like a dance where it's like you're back and forth. You're hitting it. You want to. Mm. But also like. You want a worthy opponent who can give it back to you. I 100% You don't want to agree. hold yourself back. Putting it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I yeah. love that. I love that. It's true. Mm-hmm. 100%. All right. So all right. Cool. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. I want to play a little game quickly, okay? All right. Uh, all right. Let's do it. Michelle, have you seen these stunning pieces from Rock and Roll Designs? Absolutely. I am obsessed. Like, this white jade is my absolute favorite. It goes with every outfit. Totally. I love that piece. I'm actually wearing it as well. I feel like every time I wear it, my vibes are just so high. Oh, my God. Me too. I have to tell you, same here. It's either the chunky white bracelet or necklace for me. Love Mm -hmm. them. It's not too over the top either. I feel like I could dress it up, dress it down. You know, I can wear it out. I can wear them to the gym even. I bring them everywhere with me. Yeah, and they're like really strong too. Mm -hmm. Like they don't break and they're chic. Love it. Rock and Roll Designs has definitely become a staple in my accessory collection, and Rock and Roll Design can become a perfect addition to your collection, too. Every piece of jewelry is custom, and every crystal has a special meaning that will help you with your self-care practices. Check out their websites at www.rockandrolldesign.org to find the perfect piece for you. So I'm kind of going to do a question game with both of you. It's just going to be yes or no. So I'm going to say a question, and you guys are going to say yes or no. All right. And it's basically just based on, like, yes your Yes or no. Yes. yes. Hot. So All like right. obviously both of you have different careers, but also you guys do do similar things. So mm-hmm. it'll line up with both. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you ever feel like you have a good work life balance? I don't believe in work life balance. For me, I believe in work life integration. Agreed. I like that. Yeah. Hundred okay. percent. All right. All right. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever feel imposter syndrome in your career? I have at certain points, but not at this point okay. personally. Yeah, uh, in the beginning, yeah. but I think that you need to feel it a little bit in order to grow. Of course. You should feel definitely like a yeah. little bit like, oh, am I like ready for this? And you just need to fucking die then. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm, is mentorship important to you in professional growth? Of course. I think you can always be mentored, but you have to be with someone that's beyond your time like you know when you when you meet somebody and there's people that think they can help you right and then there's people that can actually help yeah. when you're at a certain level yeah and you need to be surrounded about around those people like you said smart certain place in their career who have had accolades that really matter towards what you're going for mm-hmm. like if it's not what you want to do it's still not the right person no matter what they've done yeah so yeah i i agree I think it's like nice to be mentored always like Correct. and mm-hmm. I think like your mentors always change they evolve cuz you know you start learning from your mentor and then you kind of like learn and then you need sort of like a step so and then also like mentoring as well I think like giving back is Agreed. like mm-hmm. so inspiring cuz like you probably feel the same yep. but like I remember when I was like an intern in New York City trying to figure things out. So yeah, I I love doing that. That's me like, too. Do you, you guys have time. any like pieces of advice that you've had from previous mentors that you carry with you today? So many, so many. But I think the biggest thing is for me, just do it. I know it sounds cliche, but if you have something that you keep thinking about throughout your life that you want to do and you just sit at your nine to five and you're not doing that thing, you need to do it. That's your purpose. Mm. The thing you think about every day that you're not doing, start doing it. I love that. That That's like literally, I think every entrepreneur, everyone who's like any ever like started something, I think yep. like just doing it whenever they take that, right? especially if they're scared. Yes. <gasps> oh oh yeah. my God. That's like the best time. Like, And then like you the learn time. along the way, like, you know, like even with this podcast, like we wanted to do this five years ago, two years ago, we said, we're going to do it. We started it. And it's evolved so much. Every season, every episode, every shoot day, Mm -hmm. it's better and better and better. We have so many more opportunities. You know, we go to every, from the VMAs to the Super Bowl to, you know, it's evolved into so much. Yeah. You know, I, I, 
I remember even going to my first event. I was like, it's going to be so cool to just get to the Grammys. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, do we want to go? Or do you think it's better to do this? Yeah. Like it's, it evolves and it becomes bigger and better. And, and it gets to a point where you're like, wow, this it's happening, right? Yeah. It's mm-hmm. happened. Yeah. And now it's only going to go up from here. Yeah. I think That's a lot so of like something that you teach our team a lot too is like networking is like your biggest tool. Like if you can network, like you can do anything you can get in any room yep. and like you can do anything. I think that's definitely something you've taught us. Oh, absolutely. So, oh, I love you know that. all about networking. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Well it, you know, I think, um, and I always go back to this, like to, to answer your question, like one of the best pieces of advice is like sometimes the hard moments are the things the most pivotal moments of your life that are supposed to happen for the best thing. So like, you know, nothing is as bad as it seems. And sometimes that thing that is stressing you out or that crazy moment is something that's going to be like your groundbreaking moment that you had to go through in order to get to your next step. Like, absolutely. Like I, I swear, like on the cusp of every single breakdown, I've, turned into the person who like I am now and mm-hmm. who I've always like seen myself to be so I love that that yeah. is so too. inspiring I, I really do like that especially that last thing you said like I say it all the time like your experiences do shape you like you can't mm-hmm. hate any experience that you've had because like each one has led you to where you are yeah so like would you say like going through that on the show was one of those moments where you were like okay it's gonna be worth it at some point it's just right now it sucks oh my gosh even like so before the show like I found out before the show mm-hmm. so I I was like in the worst place right, ever like in the middle of it yeah, yeah i was like what the fuck yeah i was like are you fucking joking like yeah. yeah and i had a i had a really tough year like like earlier that year had like family issues and then had like you know chloe and i had had a fight earlier that year before like filming any of that so it was like one thing after the next after the next but it kind of you know there, there's a reason i went through that so yep. definitely yeah. but yeah so Everyone and you're on the other everything. side now, yeah. having fun, dating, and mm-hmm. loving life. Oh my gosh, it. it's incredible. And I'm like, wait, I'm like, living alone is the greatest thing <laughs> ever. It's like, been a long time, right? It's been like never. Yeah. Like almost never, you know? So I can like throw my clothes everywhere. Yeah. I can go shopping when I want to. Like it, it's just really empowering. So good definitely. for you. You're definitely like relearning who you are too. Like, is there anything that like you've noticed now that you like doing that you hadn't done before? Yeah, yeah. I mean, things like that I did growing up that like in relationships, you kind of like mold and you create a new life, right? So, mm-hmm. um, as a kid, I used to play tennis and shop which is like the stupidest things but like when you're in a relationship you know you kind of it's a partnership so I kind of whittled down a lot of parts of myself in order to you know be what I thought was a good wife Mm -hmm. and proper I mean proper enough Mm -hmm. um and in horseback riding, like those things just like, nice, that's that. so cool. Yeah. Okay, very well rounded, very well yeah. rounded. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And then, yeah, I like just started like tennis again and then a little bit of horseback riding. And I'm like, wait, I'm like, this is me. I love that. Yeah. That's great. Also, shopping, like shopping's so fun. Even like, I think clothes is like artwork, you know? Yep. It's it's the thing that you put on to say something yes. and walk in a room without saying it. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah, like you that. guys slay. You, you, girl. Okay, please. Come on. What was that like starting to film? Like you go and you're starting to film, like you're normally selling houses and all of a sudden there's cameras with you. Like did that change like the way you're selling things with customers? Um, I would say like a little bit, right? Because like you still have the deals and you're doing the deals off camera. So like all of my deals were off camera. Um, All of my deals sold. I think according to, I think Ryan did an interview and he said that I'm actually the agent who sold the most on the show. Wow. Amazing. Oh my God. Amazing. Awesome. So like Amazing. everything that we were doing was off camera and we kind of just like redid it on camera. Um, I think like in general, it's, it's stressful, like especially shooting for the first time because you know, you're dealing with the dramas, right. right? You're dealing with clients and you can't really let the other things like fall through the cracks while you're filming. So it's like outfits, it's shopping. And you kind of learn, like, I'm guessing, like, all cast members have a different strategy. But for me, it was, like, learning how to, like, build a badass team. Yes. Like, I would be nothing without the all of the women that, like, are, like, slaying with me. Like, you guys know I came with 
Eve and Nurselle here, like literally be nothing without the girls. Like my stylist too yep. was like out like, you know, last minute they'd be like, all right, Jade, I need you to do the scene. And I'm like, well, I'm in a showing like, yeah. I can't wear this like raggedy thing on camera. <laughs> yeah. So like, you know, I call my stylist Denise and, and she does something and I'm like, I fucking love you. She like, knows. you know, so it's like, it's really building that foundation and like just supporting people as much as possible. And like, mm -hmm. you know, the best way I could give back is being like, all right, what doors can I open up for, for my team in order to like, you know, thrive. So I love it. Love I love it so much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you are crushing it. So if for anyone that doesn't know, where can people find you online? Um, Instagram. So my Instagram is my first and last name, Jade Shanker. And then, um, yeah, like if anyone wants to pop into the office, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, just kidding. Um, but Instagram's great. Uh, for business stuff, um, I always tell people to like go to my emails, yeah. jade at surahan.com. Keep everything really nice, simple, easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. Love it, girl. Thank awesome. you so yeah. much Thank for so joining much. us. Thank you, Thank you, you so are much for amazing. And uh, I can't wait to see season two. Oh my God, I'm and so excited. And make sure you check out Owning Manhattan. It's Michelle Barone online. You can find me on all platforms. Ashley? You guys can find me at Ash McPherson, two H's on all socials. We'll see you, see you, you next soon. Time. Bye. Bye.